My name is Jonathan Herrera Soto, and this is the exhibition In Between Underneath, Entre Medio a Por Debajo. There's only three pieces in the show, the mud prints, the collagraphs be behind me, and the love poem series. For the show, I chose the manifestation of what it means to tell the truth, which is the profession of the journalist. I wanted to unpack the violence that the state of Mexico deliberately employs against its murdered and missing journalist. I attempt to bridge my subject matter and the audience through this work by printing the journalist's portraits in mud. They're printed using a mixture of water, unfired clay, ashes, sawdust. I print on the floor and let the mud dry and then take the stencils off. And then what we see is evidence of that process. Since the stencils are printed in mud, um, as people walk through the gallery to interact with the faces, they are simultaneously, very softly beating them back into the ground, back into nothingness. And they leave the gallery with bits and pieces of them on the soles of their feet. First and foremost, as an artist, I am a printmaker, and I, I push and pull the medium in ways that is ingrained in the medium. The collagraph print which is inked and then like a wood block run through an etching press. And what interests me is the hundreds of pounds of pressure that is placed on that plate. In this case, it renders clothing and the mud stencil print, it renders their faces, but I'm interested in that process of violence, you know, the necessity of violence in order to reveal the final image. In front of the benches where people are invited to sit, there's this series of love poems that I've worked on. Love Poem series derives from my yearning to unpack all the secondary and tertiary shock waves of trauma. When one is displaced or one goes missing or one is rendered to disappear, and everyone feels some sort of aspect of that disappearance. I believe that art is more like washing dishes than it is this romantic gesture of like clarity. It's not me documenting some sort of tragedy. It's me attempting to render a clear picture of what is done very purposefully. Far too many things are labeled tragedies. And the way we use language, you know, really influences the way we absorb information. It's a tragedy for us, you know, but it's not necessarily accidental. It's very, very purposeful.